Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and let's keep replaying Tumba. Let's go! Alright, so last time we got ourselves a 100 year old key. We, um. Uh, oops. We got a few things done. And, and uh, this time we're gonna do a few more things, including feeding the monkey. Who are you? See? I told you so. I hope the old cool is helpful. Me? People call me Yan of the Hidden Village. Well, we figured out who he is. But that starts another event. Hide and go seek. I like to hide from people. Usually they never find me. If you find me again, I'll give you more information. Don't expect it to be this easy next time. This is gonna be a lot of fun. A good old game of hide and go seek. Well, good luck. See ya. See you indeed. Also, I didn't start a timer. It might, that might be a good idea. Okay. So, let's go. Oh, that was probably a bad idea, but it turned out well. So I'm not complaining. Um, so there should be a hundred year old box pretty close to here. I think it might be in the background. What's this? Lessons in learning, huh? Lovely. That was very useful. Thank you so much for that game. That is not a hundred year old box, therefore we cannot open it yet. No worries, we will have the key for that box someday. But not now. And not ever. But someday. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, there's a hundred yield box. Huh. It's not quite how to get to it. <laughs> huh. so, ah, there we go. And we find the hundred year old bell. And that... Whenever you use it, will bring us back to the hundred year old man's hut. Now that I've actually used it, I kind of regret that. Because <laughs> there is still something that we need to do before we move on. Especially for the fact that we don't have uh, any way to run fast. I mean, running fast? Who would ever ask for that? A game like this you really have to um, take in, right? That was a horrible jump. Okay. Restore our health. That is going to be useful for something else later. But not quite yet. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, go and find that monkey man. Because we have something for him. Leave me alone! I haven't eaten all day and your pink hair is giving me a headache. Hmm, I haven't eaten all day. Huh. Wow! You'll give me your bananas? Thanks! You're not so bad after all. I was so hungry I couldn't move. My name is Charles. I know what I can do for you. I'll teach you a trick, okay? Press the square button and the directional button together to run. It's called the Animal Dash. You got it, kid? The square button and the directional button. Well, gotta go. So, as I was saying about uh, fast running, it does too exist in the game, and I'm doing it now. See? Fast running. Existed this whole time. So now, let's actually head back to the 100 year old man's hut. Because from here, we'll go up this, and into the next area of the game. Loading. There we go. And no, there's nothing over there. <laughs> Huh, who are you? 
It's like they're talking an entirely different language. Well, here we are in the forest of a hundred flowers. Uh, you'll see a fair amount of powers of ten, actually, in this game. I'm gonna save that here. I'm gonna try to avoid using so many save states. I know I did use a lot of save states last time. Hello, friend. Um... Real rough. Alright, we are learning us a language by assaulting the populace. Who never wanted to do that? Hi there. Gah! Now, you might notice there are some uh, butterflies appearing. Leaf butterflies to be exact, and we're going to need, I believe, 20 of them. For what purpose? I don't know. What purpose could leaf butterflies possibly have? Well, I'll, uh... Oh, two of them. I'll work on farming these more off-screen, and if I come upon some, I'll definitely catch them. If I can. Although they seem to be appearing out of the woodwork today, it's like, wow. I saw something. Uh, no. I guess not. Anything up here? Nope. Apparently not. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to watch out now. Because there are spiky things. I don't think we have access to there yet. No. Ow. Yes, I was saying about spiky things. Yeah. <laughs> Carefully. Ha. Ah. Gah. Hmm. And yeah, this is the um Dwarf Village. Unfortunately, we, uh... Wow, you learned some of our language. But I still can't quite understand everything you're saying. I think if you jump on a dwarf and bite one more, you'll have mastered the language. Hmm. I really wish it was that easy to learn a language in real life. Unfortunately, jumping on people, not so much. Wow! And we know it's a language. Fantastic. Hey, buddy. Wow, you can understand the dwarf language? We have a problem when we don't know what to do. The dwarf fort- the dwarf fortress. <laughs> oh my. The dwarf forest was uh, cast under its spell by evil pigs. The flowers have wilted away and the trees have mutated. And something has popped up on my screen. That's pretty fantastic. Several dwarves have not returned from a recent hunting party. We suspect that they might have been trapped by the giant spores and can't move. The doors to the hut in the forest have been opened, but the deep forest is being guarded. The guards won't let anyone pass until the missing doors have been found. Looks like we have a sequest. Or, in other words, an event. Pardon me one moment. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, so we need to go save us some dwarves. There is loading time. Loading time, loading time, loading time. I guess that's the thing with PlayStation games. Hmm. Can we go in here? Yes, we can. Are there any trapped dwarves? Let's go take a look. And that gives us a brand new gauge. That's gonna be interesting. Possibly, maybe, perhaps. Huh? Yeah. So, 
whole new range of bad-ins here, including, including these stupid spiders, which are rather a pain to get. Okay, so we've rescued one dwarf, we have seven to rescue, and we are completely missing everything on the planet here. It's pretty great. Um, Oh boy, I have no idea how I actually grabbed onto that. Uh, that is not one that we have a key. Uh, anyone who's watched my original Let's Play of Tomba will remember one item that's supposed to be in this area, which I completely missed. Hopefully this time that's not a ow. Problem. <laughs> ah, jumping pants. Uh this is equipment. And uh, let's view it. Lighter pants that allow you to move faster. So really not jumping pants as such, more like uh dying pants. No, more like running pants. I have no idea why they call them jumping pants. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, boy. That was rather close. Okay, get that over here. And I think that... The seeds might be over here. Ah, we have a little boy here. Oops. <laughs> I can't get down. I was looking for flower seeds, but I couldn't find any. I just want to go home. You'll take me home? Thanks. Ah! <laughs> I just love the expression on his face. It's like, what? So there is something up here too. Hmm. Looks like there's something missing. I wonder what it is. Actually, is there something on top of that hut? Ah! You okay there, little buddy? I'm gonna take your um, wailing screams as a yes. Yeah, there is totally something here. Telescope. I can see. Hmm. Looks like we might be able to use a telescope right here. What's that? Well, that looks rather ominous. Another thousand AP for us. A-P-I-O Kaye. Anyway, that was horrible. <laughs> that is a rock. Uh, I think we can push a rock, can't we? Yes, we can. And... Fuck. Oof. Huh. We appear to have discovered a mirror. Let's grab that and start us another event, a magic mirror. Uh, oh boy. Gotta be careful with these platforms. Very careful. Oh boy. Gotta be careful with any platforms. So that's the way to continue the game, and uh, yeah, <laughs> we have no access to that yet because there are still some missing dwarves. Okay, so I wonder. Man, I haven't played this game in a while. I'm kind of curious to see if there's as something else over on yonder side. It's another chest, and 
uh, some more stuff that we don't have access to. So I think that's about it for this area for now. Oh. Crystal Ball. That might be useful at some later point. Hey, you're going the wrong way! Oh, I guess we have to save the little boy first. Very well, we shall save the little boy. So you're the one to help my boy! You have a very kind heart. Please, take this. It'll help you. Cheese. Uh-huh. I fail to see the relevance. Well, that's enough cheesing enough for one day, I think. So, next time on Let's Replay Tomba, we're gonna find the rest of those hidden dwarves and um, keep on going, I guess. <laughs> so, I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>